Warring to me Holding our paper eyes Fading our broken I think that's just a ton of fun to play with. Um, and you should definitely experiment in pad mode. Super, super fun. Hey, it's Justin Kanoi, a DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, I'm talking about the STEMS pad mode. So we're gonna get to hit these pads in the new Virtual DJ 2021. All right, so in the new Virtual DJ 2021, we know that there's the STEMS function, but there's even additional advanced EQ modes or STEMS modes, for lack of a better term, that we need to have a better understanding of. Today, we're focused on Oddly enough, the disabled mode. So typically you say disabled, that means it's not on. What we're essentially doing is we're disabling the ability to control the stems on the EQ knobs itself. Now, why would you wanna do that? Um, if you're on a two channel controller, you don't have the option on assigning the stems on anywhere else because by default, the stems kind of overtake what the traditional purpose of the EQ knobs are, right? You've got high, your mids, and your lows. And this is how you know, we're turning these when we're mixing. So these are crucial knobs that we don't want to lose functionality of. So some people might choose to disable it, but then if this is disabled, how can we use the stems? Well, that's what we're going to get into today. To select which EQ mode you want, is we've got to click on this little arrow. This is a new little arrow that enables us to configure our EQ modes. And here we have these four options. And for today, I'm only focusing on disabled. So I'm not even gonna talk about that other stuff because I don't wanna confuse myself or anyone else. So I've selected the disabled mode and we'll just hit okay. I'm gonna start playing this song. Now, as I said earlier, I have all traditional functionality of these knobs. This is my gain knob. Here's the highs, the mids, the lows. So it's all sounding like we should have it sound like. As well as the filter knob, right? Here's the low pass. Here's my high pass filter. So what's going on here, right? Like I thought the stems function allowed us to drop the vocals or drop the instrumental. Well. When you have it disabled, as I said, we're still retaining the original purpose of these knobs. That means the stems are now going to be controlled over here on your pads. But you still have to do one more thing, because right now we're just in the Q mode, right? So this is Q1, this is Q2 that I've set up earlier. And we want to be able to control the different stems on the pad. So what you've got to do is you want to go over to your pad mode in Virtual DJ. Right now we can see it's on hot cues. We click the arrow and we're going to select stems. Now what we see are these five new pads that we can now control the different functionality of the stems. So if I click right here on vocal, we've now killed the vocal. Instrumental is gone, and there's really not much else, but we'll just unselect those. And now we can see from the waveform right here that there's nothing. It's all grayed out. So that's how we put the stems in pad mode, and then we can control it by clicking on those individual areas. Now, that's all well and good, but wouldn't it be so much nicer to be able to actually do it on our controller? That's what I want to show you right now. So I'm going to hit the lights, and then we'll be right back. All right, I know this looks a little weird. Maybe I can see myself a little better here, but really uh, my face doesn't matter. It never really matters, but what's important right now are the pads and the pads we can see right up in there. Um, each one of the stems are assigned to one of the pads. So the way it's mapped out right here is you've got vocal, instrument, bass, kick, and the hi-hat. And we can isolate any one of these by just pressing down on the buttons when the light is blinking then that means that stem is active so right now all five are blinking and if we wanted to play the song in the traditional way we'd want them all blinking because that means each 
path of the song is playing. When it's not active, it's solid. I kind of wish it was just darkened um, because this still looks like it's on, but it's just important to note that if it's solid, it's off, and blinking means it's on. Let's go ahead and listen to the song and I'm gonna isolate the different parts. Um, so let's listen right now. All right, I'm gonna take out the vocal. And now the instrumental. The bass. The kick is gone. And there's like a little, little tiny hi-hat in there. And we'll take that out. So now, once again, all the pads are solid. That means every stem is muted. So let's bring them all back one by one. Hi-hat, kick, bass, instrumental, and vocal. Now, what's cool about this is when it's not on the knobs, the muting or unmuting is like instantaneous. You don't have to like flip the knob one way. Um, the drawback of course is now we're not fading things in and we could kind of fade things in dramatically. Um, but I kind of like this too, how it's sort of an instant on and instant off. The manner in which you press down on these pads will be dependent on if it's muting or not. Now, as we just demonstrated by simply um, tapping on it, it immediately turns it off. So. Right, so now our vocal is gone. And I'll tap it back on. But if I just wanted to temporarily take something out, by pressing and holding on the pad, it will temporarily mute it. And then when you lift off, everything comes back. So in this case, I'm going to mute the instrumental, the bass and the hi-hat leaving only the vocal and the kick, and it makes this really cool um, effect. And now let's actually just take everything out. We'll just do the vocal. I'll take out everything except the vocal and then gradually bring in some of the other instruments. I think that's just a ton of fun to play with. Um, and you should definitely experiment in pad mode. Super, super fun. All right, hopefully you found that video helpful. And if you did, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, I'm diving into each one of these EQ modes. There are four in total. So there's gonna be a video on each one of them. I got another one coming up in a few days. And if you're watching this and it's already been a few days, well, that video is probably coming up next. So either way, Hit the bell so you get notified each time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.